A 13-year-old YouTuber who became famous for a series of videos that were extremely critical of President Obama is now distancing himself from the GOP, and his reason for doing so is awesome. But I don't want you to think that we're sort of exaggerating his anti-Obama credentials, so uh, J.R. Jackson has put together uh, a montage of some of his greatest hits. So a few minutes ago, a White House spokesman just released a statement saying that I was lying about being blocked by POTUS. Well, right now I'm saying those allegations are completely fallacious. And they expect us to believe. They expect us to believe that they are telling the truth about this. President Obama, you don't love America. If you really did love America, you would call ISIS what it really is. If you loved America, President Obama, if you loved America, you wouldn't try to take away what hardworking Americans have worked for their entire lives. You wouldn't do this if you loved the people of America. We, we gotta stop with the, the, the you don't love America. How about this? We all, all the politicians love America, but some of them are evil regardless. Yeah. Can we say that? Yeah. Okay. They probably love the country. They're just dicks. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they only wa uh, want to put into uh, effect policies that advance the interests of the top 1%. They still love America potentially. But anyway, uh, this is a video not to be critical of that young man, but to applaud him for at least being willing to distance himself from the GOP and from the Ted Cruz presidential campaign in particular. So first of all, he says he put out a, a statement about why he was not going to be affiliated anymore with the, the right-wing politicians. He says, I was tired of being a champion of a party that turned a blind eye to racial discrimination, tired of being a champion of any cause that denies equal rights to every American, uh, tired of being a champion of a party that doesn't care about the issues important to young people. So look, he is only 13 years old, CJ Pearson, but that shows a level of, I think, accurate analysis of how he was being received by the right wing. Uh, and an understanding of what policies they are and are not pursuing on the GOP side. It shows human nature. And what I mean by that is once a political party does something that impacts a group that you feel like you can identify with, mm -hmm. all of a sudden you change your mind about that political party. Yeah. I mean, in the beginning of that montage that JR put together, the first thing he said was that Obama doesn't love America because he won't call these terrorist Islamic what, what was it, extremists or something? I, Basically, the same anti-Muslim rhetoric that we hear over and over again from bigoted individuals, right? Yeah. So he's okay with the GOP talking shit about the Muslims, but when it yeah. comes to black people, that ain't cool, right? Exactly. Which, yeah. by the way, Which he's, makes sense. he's right. He's right about you know the discrimination that the black community faces, specifically from the GOP. But at the same time, like, look, here's what I. The only real point I want to make about this story is that he's 13. And I want everyone to think back to who they were when they were 13 yeah. or when they were in college. We were all idiots. And here's the thing, we're still idiots, but we're slightly more aware of the real world yeah. and how things work. Yeah. So I don't I don't take anything he says seriously. I think he's growing, I think he's learning, and I'm very curious to see who he is when he's 30. Exactly, but for now, yeah. he's just a 30-year-old who has a platform because the GOP made him the token black guy who yeah. supports their party. Yeah, they, like literally, when you think of young people and the GOP, you have CJ and you have the little girl who liked Jeb Bush. Yeah. That's it. That's why they come. They show up in all the commercials because that's all they have. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, it's just interesting that the whole racial discrimination thing, like, now? Oh, that's my God. Causing it, like, two years ago, it wasn't bad? It was pretty bad two years ago yeah. coming from the right. But anyway, but, look, specifically the, 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 the incident that caused him to question uh, his affiliation and to move. It was the video of 17-year-old Laquan McDonald being shot 16 times by a Chicago police officer. He called the shooting an issue where conservatives and liberals should come together. That's in a video that he published last week. Uh, and then based on that, he says, I don't want to be the conservative wonder kid that people follow because I make them feel good and like young people are part of their movement. I want to be followed because I'm the voice of a generation that doesn't have a voice at the table. That, that You're going a bit too far there. Now, look, we're, look, we're joking a little bit. Obviously, it's just in all in good fun or whatever. Look, CJ, even even when he was against Obama, even when he was being used by the right, I still think it's a good thing that a 13-year-old cares enough about politics to make videos about it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's awesome. And so CJ, regardless of what political evolution he goes over, goes through in the next year or the next 15 years, I think it's good and hopefully inspiring to other young people that he makes videos like this. So don't take our joking around to be that we're like highly critical of him. We understand he's a 13-year-old yeah. and that he cares about something. That is good.